Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Crumble Review. It's the second week of April. You guys are probably confused right now. Sean the Food Sheep is <laughs> out of uh, town again. He's in DC this whole week for work. But you know, you know we gotta you, you know we gotta keep going. So the Crumble Podcast, I'm your host, Beanie Sports, and I have my brother with me here today. If you wanna introduce yourself. What's up guys? My name is Darren. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the review with Beanie today. Yeah. Let's have some fun. So his voice is, isn't as loud as mine today, but so a, a little fun fact, Sean, Sean actually proposed the idea to have him on today because before me and Sean started uh, the Crumble Reviews guys, me and my brother would get them every week. Like when Crumble first was established in Houston, we would get four boxes every every week, no matter what. And oh. Sean was never a Crumble fan back then. Nah. We introduced Sean. And so Sean's like, why don't we have him on and let him, cause he, in the, in the back end, he's eating the cookies every week, guys. Try them every week. Yeah. And I always give my rating and stuff, so why not do it on cam? Yep, and so we're going to do that today. He's a huge Crumble fan, so Crumble, he loves you guys too. Um, just letting you, just, Shout out Crumble. Just letting you guys know. And so, yeah, it's uh, no life advice today, uh, unless unless you want to share life advice later. We, we do it up, we do life advice every week. Uh, we'll, we'll do some life advice, because, yeah. I mean, there's like a solar eclipse going on, you know? There's like change and stuff going on. Rain so. and, yeah. Um, yeah, there's definitely a lot we can learn. There's a lot of energies and stuff in the in the air. So. It's weird. Yeah, solar eclipse caused like weird energy sh shifts. It, that's what it does. It's like you know, like stuff new stuff begins and old stuff goes away. And like the solar eclipse. What, is how like, does it? How does it make new stuff? So, come? so like think about it. Think about it this way. Like if you think of it as in like astrology or whatever. Like the sun and the moon, they're always like put apart, right? The sun is like fire and the moon is like chill and then this is the one time they get together and actually like kiss right they're actually like so if you think about it like that it's kind of crazy so I, um there's this quote i was looking at uh someone sent it to me and i was just like holy crap this like hits because it's like damn the sun and moon are always apart but they for like once every 20 years they get together and they actually overlap which is wild so so is the energy yeah. positive or negative um, so I don't know if people are into astrology and stuff, but like, uh, for some signs, it's like a really positive energy. It's like a energy of like, Hey, something new is coming. Something good is coming into your life. So, um, I think it's all positive because okay. this thing only happens once every 20 years. So I mean, make it, the most it, of it. We're in Houston. We didn't really get to see it. It did yeah. get dark a little bit, but, uh, guys comment below. If, if you guys saw the solar eclipse, you got some good views or what are your thoughts on this whole energy stuff? I honestly didn't know anything about that. I just thought it was just another waxing grit, Chris. Gibson, you know, you know the, moon <laughs> the waxing Gibson full moon. Well, today was what new moon? No, it's not a new. I don't know what it is. Is it a new moon? It's a new moon when it's, when it's all uh, black, right? Well, yeah, if you can't see it, then it's a new moon. So it's called new moon, so it's, it's new, new. No, oh. that, that, that's wrong because because the moon phases happen every every all, every month, no matter what. Yeah, that that's just happens uh, no matter what. This is like when it overlaps, you know. See, good thing our YouTube channel is about cookies and not astrology because. I don't have the advice for that, but here we go. <laughs> this is the April 8th, April 8th, April 8th, edition. April 8th edition. Oh, yesterday was WrestleMania. If you're a WWE fan, please comment below. Cody Rhodes finishes the story. If you watch wrestling, we watch it all. Oh, I watch man. every sport. What a, what an event. Yeah. Comment below. If I, if I have any comments. WrestleMania fans here, comment below. I want, I need to hear it. Yeah. We're, we're, we're actually doing this right before Raw, so we need to get this out. And we're, we're going to go super watch excited. Raw is going to be so fire today. Yeah. Okay, so here we go, guys. This is our. This is our. This is pretty decent box, honestly. The, the past few weeks, you've seen them. Yeah. The past few weeks have looked better. I feel like this week it's kind of it's kind of bland. Yeah, it's kind of bland. Besides the yellow, nothing really pops. You see a couple M and M's in this one, but everything else is kind yeah. Of, we have bland. we have a few old cookies, and we have a uh, I think one new one. Uh, I think we have gotten cookie dough in the past. This yeah. is cookie dough, but we I, I feel like we got it in a different in a different way. Yeah, I've tried the cookie dough. I think they put like a spin on it. I think it's like there's like brown sugar or something in it this time. So okay. they made the bottom a little bit different. Sean usually reads into the cookie like ingredients and stuff. I mm -hmm. haven't done that. So I'm just gonna let you guys know what's what. Oh yeah, this is, a, this is a lemon bar. So, you know, Crumble really is notorious for their lemon and um, fruit, fruit, fruity flavors. A lot of people love those. This is the uh, cinnamon scone. Cinnamon scone. What's a yep. scone? You, you know what a, like, like scones are like? Yeah, those, it's that pastry. Croissants. Yeah, it's a thick, like dense pastry. I, I forgot what it's. I forgot what it actually is. But you eat it with like coffee and stuff. Mm. It's, it's good. I love scones. So Crumble started to do like cookie. I mean, like cakes and uh, carrot cake. Remember? Yeah. Last week they had something else. What they key lime pie. Key lime pie, and now they have scones. So yeah. are we gonna maybe see a croissant? Oh shit. Maybe they do a scone next time, like an actual scone. Yeah, but but they ha cool. I feel like it has to be a cookie shape, no? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we have chocolate cupcake. Mm. And then we have Monster featuring M&M's. Pretty solid week, guys. Um, I feel like 
all the crumble fans that are going to try them to try them is probably going to go this week but we have those followers that always ask us every week the one cookie just to let you know so we're yeah. going to give that at the end all right. but uh your thoughts honestly um looking at this lineup what do you think is going to be the best cookie Ooh, um, so if I had to put my money on it, I feel like the cinnamon scone is going to be a sleeper. Okay. I feel like that one's going to hit. Um, this one, there's a lot going on. I think this one has like oatmeal in it as well. So that it's like oatmeal, that like chocolate boring. chips, plus m and So I don't know. This one seems like it's going to be a bit much for me because like I like subtle lemon. You I don't, don't like, like lemon. That's, yeah, that's very overpowering. Yeah, so right. that one looks like it's going to be really lemony. That one looks nice. Uh, looks like it's that's nice probably gonna, subtle. You, I'm gonna you, like you just know one. what you're gonna get with that. Yeah. yeah. But these two is what I have my money on. Okay. The um, cookie dough and the uh, cinnamon scone. I think yeah. those are gonna be the best. And then chocolate chip. You know, guys, we, we got to get that every week. So it is a six box. Uh, six Wait, what box do you think? Week. What's your favorite gonna be? What do you think? Uh, I, I'm I'm most excited for scone. Oh yeah. I just yeah. I've had this before. I've had this before. I already know this is gonna be not not my type of cookie. Yeah. I am excited for cookie dough though. I yeah. love cookie dough, but I feel like. All the bases are the same. Yeah. Six bases are the same. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're similar. There's no chocolate base. There's no, like, oh, yeah. soft base. The bases are the same, guys. I feel like it's a bye week for Crumble this week. They just had this this, this ready to go. Yeah. They just threw it in there. It is a more yeah. of a bland week, I'd, I'd say, But too. the past yeah. few weeks have been electric for them. Yeah. So it's hard to go back to back to back. So they're chilling this week. Yeah. I respect it, Crumble. You guys gave us a new scone, so I'm excited about that. Yeah, but, I'm super excited about that one. Let's so um, we do have the cookie cutter back if you want to show them. The past few weeks, we didn't have it. And uh, my brother do the honors of today well, cutting these cookies. I don't know if he's ever done it. It's no, such I've a never pleasure. Done this. Okay, let's so you do pick it. it in there and you kind of move it around. Okay. So no, no. So <laughs> since you're you're new, you're yeah. new. You have the first pick. You pick the first cookie we're trying. Oh, we go one at a time. We pick. Oh, that's okay. how me and Sean do it. All right, all right let's. Okay, we're we gonna, usually we're gonna, save the best for last, but okay. you don't have to do that. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna knock the lemon out of the way. That's I feel fair. Like, that's I a good feel pick. Like it's gonna be too lemony. I want to get it out of the way, and then I want to go on to something. I think nice. if Sean was here, he would have done the same thing. Yeah. He doesn't right. like the lemons. We're going lemon. All right, let's go. All right, let's do Put it. Put it in there and then kind of wiggle it around. Push it and then, or yeah. Is it hard? Yeah. It's not a soft cookie. No. And one plate, one piece is stuck. Just get it. All okay, right. cool. All right, on camera. All right, let's do this thing. I'm gonna. Just oh, it's kind of soft. It. Yeah, it's soft. It's actually. really soft. Yeah, it's soft. I mean, if you want to show them, I mean, I, mine's gonna fall. Mine's gonna fall. Be careful. All it right. looks like a soft cookie. Oh, oops. So this is what we do: uh, one bite, then we're gonna time the process, and then one through ten at the same time. All right, I'm gonna let's do it. Score. All right. Okay. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. No. You like that? I didn't say something. What? I don't want to ruin it for you, but your score? I have my score. Ready? Are we gonna say it at the same time? I'm gonna say three. I'm gonna count down. Alright. Three, two, one, eight. Five point eight. <laughs> oh, we said opposites. <laughs> I said 8.5. He said 5.8. He flipped it. Yeah. No, no. I'm going to let you go first. You're here. Explain the 5.8. All right. Um, To me, it's too much lemon. It's just too much lemon. I knew this is going to That's your be... bite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have you bite in a bit. Well, well, yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, to me, it's just too much lemon. Like, when I get a lemon cookie, I want, like, a hint of lemon in it. I don't want it to be just lemon, you know? And this one, it tastes like I'm biting, like, literally into a lemon with a little bit of sugar on it. That's my take. Okay, so five. But it is soft. Five, I like that. Five is a failing grade. Um, but anything below seven for us means don't get that cookie for that week. So you're just telling mm. the, the crumble followers out there not to get it. But I will say one thing, guys. When I bit into it, instantly I thought I was eating uh, the yellow starburst. Oh, snap. Right? I kind of get that. It tastes like a yellow starburst, and I just lost it. I kind of get that. It tastes like a yellow starburst. I'm sorry. Yeah. I can get that. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, the, the topping is yellow starburst. It's solid. It's uh, solid. Uh, uh, it's a beautiful looking cookie. I had to give it eight point. I just had to. It's not for me. That's it. Okay. It's as simple as that. Like, I love yellow starburst, but but when I think of a cookie, I think of like chocolatey, you know, kind of like that. I think I might have given too high of a score. That's fine. You liked it. So we can't go back, unfortunately, on our scores. They're stuck in, they're set in stone. That's fine. But I will say one thing. Going back to his point, like... Yellow Starburst, some people love them. That's their favorite. But other people will never have them. Yeah, that's the one they, they only want. Out. What's your favorite Starburst? Pink. Always. Pink or red, right? Oh, pink yeah. or red. Pink. pink. Uh -huh. Orange is solid, too. People like it. Yeah. Yellow is always the, the, the odd man out. Yeah. But I like lemon. 
right. Starburst. That's fair. And so it reminded me, and then so my brother's new here, so me and Sean, when we get a memory, a core memory unlocked from a cookie, we got to give it a high That's score. Fair. That's so, fair. That's I mean, fair. I dig that. Yeah, I dig that. Fair. Yeah, if you taste the yellow, I didn't see, I didn't get that initially from it, so that's why. I, I mean, me and Sean disagree every week, so I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's either for you or it's not, guys. Yeah. If you like lemon Starburst, you need to go get that right now. That's true. That is yeah. true. Yeah. And if you don't like lemon Starburst, same thing. Yeah, right? then. Eh. All right. So All right. I have the next pick. Uh, go ahead and cut the M&M. Let's get that out of the way. All right. I like that pick. Let's play. Yeah. We're not, we're not, we're not picking cookies and uh, chocolate chip. No chocolate chip. We don't pick chocolate no, chip. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know y'all don't do that one. Okay. And then you can eat how much ever, ever. We usually just do one bite. Yeah. yeah I'm just going to do If bite. you want to eat the whole cookie, you eat, you go ahead. <laughs> All right. Cheers. He's going to eat these after, guys. He he eats them too at the night. He wakes up and eats them. Mm -hmm. Peanut butter? It has peanut butter. Wait, monstrous peanut butter? It has peanut butter, oatmeal. Mmm. 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 Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Seven point seven. Fair? Uh, yeah. We're really close. Yeah. I'll go ahead and start on this one. Um, seven point seven. Obviously, I can't put this cookie in the eighth, guys, just because it's not. It doesn't scream crumble. When you think of a crumble, you think of like that explosion cookie. You know, it mm -hmm. looks fancy. It looks kind of plain, mm -hmm. but I think seven point seven is fair. It passes for sure. It's like it's like a it's like it's like it's it a, reminds me of like it's a peanut butter cookie with oatmeal and M and M's in it. That's what it tastes like to me. I don't like peanut butter cookies, but mm -hmm. like I like it with a mixture of things. And I feel like it's just like cookie that reminds you of just like a nice piece of day at home that you make at home. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's like a it tastes more like a homemade cookie. It's like a that's homemade a good way recipe. To put it. It's like yeah, a homemade yeah, yeah, recipe. Yeah, yeah. So it's 7. like point seven. It's a little bit of a kitchen dump in my in my sense. There's like a, a lot of flavors going on. That's why I didn't rank it a little bit higher. Maybe if they did There's like a lot a, going on. Maybe yeah. if they did like a chocolate chip cookie, which they have with just the M and M's, then I would have ranked it a little bit higher. Yeah. This one, some of the flavors kind of get lost. So I think like with the peanut butter, with the uh, oatmeal, all that going on, it's like a little bit too much for me. So, so they have yeah, look, 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 they have but it's good though. It's not too overly and chocolate sweet. chips. Yeah, there's and, and the oatmeal on. and the peanut butter. So there's a lot going on. That's fair. So it passed for both of us, guys. I'm not going to say it's one of the best ever. No. But yeah, there you have it. That's um, solid. Let's move on next one. We have three big, big ones left. Ooh, okay. So um, I'm going to I'm gonna save the big two for last. Oh, uh, you're going to chocolate cupcake? Okay. So we'll go chocolate cupcake next. These usually are my favorite. These cupcake cookies are always my favorite. Yeah, they hit usually. So my favorite cookie of all time is birthday cake. You know that. What's... Yeah. Do you know yours? Oh, my favorite cookie. I, I like one of the cookies and cream variations a lot. I yeah. remember that. You're a huge Crumble fan though, right? I love Crumble. So Crumble, if you're watching this, he's a huge fan. Just yeah, I you love guys Crumble. Know. I love Since day one, he introduced me to you guys, actually. And then I introduced him to Sean. So here we are, right? Crumble. Crumble's just... Cheers. Crumble's amazing. All right, that every week's anticipation... Yeah, no, they do. They do. We great. used to we used to wait for the draw uh the flavors on Sunday like it was. Like and then I used NFL to go get draft. Them. Yeah, like it was an NFL draft. Like you're yeah. waiting for the flavors. All right, but all right, let's do it. Yeah, all right, all right, here it is. Mm. I would I will say one thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower the that, that's eight point five is ridiculous. Yeah, that was too high for eight. me. I'm, I'm going to put that back to eight, guys. I'm sorry. That, that was just one of those first cookie rating. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I always do this. So, I mean, our regular followers, uh, I don't know if you know this, but they they know my scores be, like, biased sometimes. But I'm going to give that an eight. Because, ready? Uh, we're about to say it? Ready? Yeah. You have yours? Yeah, yeah, I'm Three, two, one, eight, nine five. Point one. <laughs> what? I like that cookie. Okay, guys, we got a nine. We got a nine. We haven't had a nine. In a, we haven't had a nine last week, I think. Really? I'm gonna say this is an eight point five. This is an eight, but you gotta explain the nine. You gotta explain the nine. Nine means that cookie is really, really good. Okay, I really like that cookie. So I think the base is not too sweet. It's not. And then the chocolate really comes through because they kept the base light, not too sweet. There's not too much going on. And then you really, really get the chocolate. So I'm like, yes, let's go. And I love chocolate. So the chocolate stands out on that, which they did a great job with. And it tastes like a cupcake. So nine point one, I agree. I, I I don't mind that at all. Eight point five for me, even eight like higher than that's fine. You're right about that. The bottom, it's perfect. It's perfectly mm -hmm. made. Nothing's mm -hmm. overpowering anything. It, it's it's like a like vanilla. It's cupcake. just like a cupcake. And then the top, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, so it's well done. When they actually nail it, like when they say vanilla cupcake and they actually get the vanilla cupcake, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Are yeah. you a fan of cupcakes though? You like I cupcakes? love cupcakes. You like cupcakes? Oh my god. Oh, I love cupcakes. All right, cupcake or co uh, cookie cake? Oh man, that's you, only, you have to drop one. 
I, I, I have to take cookie cake. Cookie cake is too good. I'll drop You have to take cookie cake? Yeah, I need cookie cake. Cookie cake or ice cream so cake? Good. Oh, ice cream cake. Oh my God, God bless. Ice cream cake is the best. All right, <laughs> ice cream cake or anything red velvet. You have to drop oh, them. damn. You know red velvet's my weakness. Um, Dang. I'll take red velvet. I have to. See, for me, I just, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of cupcakes personally. Yeah. But that's good. So 8.5 for me, guys. If you're a fan of cupcakes, chocolate cupcakes. I, I like that one yeah. a lot. Yeah. Like, look, I'm a huge fan of carrot cake. Like, he knows carrot cake is one of my favorite cakes. Mm -hmm. I had to Always. get it twice that week. I had to. If chocolate cupcake makes makes you happy, that's your favorite dessert. It's good. Go it's, get it. And it's subtle. Like, it's not too sweet. Like, some people hate the too sweet. This one's not too sweet. This one's really good. It's nice and subtle, and they, the chocolate really comes through. So, you'll like it. Maybe we should have gotten a solar eclipse cookie. Something like that. Oh, they should have done something right? like that. It comes every like 20 years. Like a moon years. rock or something. Like a, a moon pie. A moon pie. Oh. Crumble, come on. Dude, I had, a Marketing moon, team. I had a moon pie for the first time today since elementary school. Today? Yeah, my boss bought moon pies for everybody because it was a solar eclipse, right? So they had them on sale. Wow, I didn't even know that. Yeah. Crumble's so, marketing team needs to needs Come to on, call. guys. Yeah, moon something. Right? Or like, yeah, something Oh, my the moon goodness, dude. How, it was right there. Yeah, y'all had it. Right there. <laughs> okay, next chance y'all get, 2044. So y'all got it. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, the next solar, uh, solar eclipse is 2044 oh or 45. I they could have literally did moon pie. I'm just shook right now. Yeah, that would have right. been cool. Plus, you could have done a sandwich. Anyways, yeah. Wow. All right, what you got going on? <sighs> I'm gonna go cookie dough. I, we gotta save the scone. Scone. All right, all right, all right. We've scone never is, gotten a scone. Ooh, yeah. We've never gotten a scone. That one is hyped up, so we gotta. It better live up. It's six thirty. All right, we're good. We're all. Okay. I'm a huge WWE fan too, guys. If you didn't know that. Okay. This they is... know I'm a sports fan, but. Yeah. I love sports as well. Oh, <laughs> uh, he's an Astros fan, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think we have any Astros fans here. Of course we do. Oh, this is really soft, it's by the so way. Soft. It's so soft. Right. I love cookie dough. Let's do it. Do you have cookie uh, dough? Cookie do you have, do you have a piece of cookie dough, at least? I do, I do, I Make do. Make sure you get one. Yeah, I'm about to eat them. Damn. <laughs> Never mind. Crumble was on their, on their game this week. Well, yeah, I like this one. Mm. I'm ready. Mm. I'm ready. Three... Two, one, seven, eight point five. Seven point nine? Seven point nine. I'm ranking both of these the same. Eight point fives for me, guys. I just I just think it's perfection. It's nice, soft. Yeah. I like the little the cream on top. It's not overpowering at no, all. Oh yeah, yeah, it's not. It's it's really subtle. One thing I will say is like, look, you have these like let's say it's me, him, and we have two other friends with us. Guys, two people didn't get any cookie dough. Mm -hmm. So I feel like the cookie dough needs to be put on proportionally. Mm -hmm. Maybe put a lot of it or just put like a little bit. Like, these two poor guys aren't going to get any cookie dough, guys. Come on. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Explain the seven. Come on. All right. So, my take on I couldn't quite give it an eight. So, this is my take on it. I, I like the cookie. Like, the texture is really good. It kind of, like, almost tastes like you're biting into cookie dough. Uh, into a cookie dough. Because, like, it's, right? like, it's that weird texture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, like, crunchy. Like, this one has had a little crisp to it. or like a little uncooked. To it. it feels uncooked. Yeah, that one feels like it's, like, cookie dough. Yeah. I like it. But the thing is, like, now I have to compare mine to the this one, which I gave a 9.1. And I was like, that one almost hit an eight. But it didn't quite do it for me. Okay. See, for me, I like both of these. I feel like these are these are. They're good. both good cookies. It's like, yeah. it's like a comparison I can make is like it's, it's like Pepsi and Coke. I feel like it's your it's your preference. Yeah, they're both solid. Yeah, those are both good cookies. I was gonna make an NFL comparison, but I feel like a lot of people don't know that here. So yeah. I'll say the, it's, it's like Josh Allen and Justin Herbert. You take your pick. Oh, yeah. is that or no? No, I mean they're yeah, that's, that's fair, fine. That's fair. that's fair. Yeah. All right. Last but not least, the grand finale. Cinnamon scone. I've actually I don't know if I've ever had a scone. I've had a scone. Scones are so good. Blueberry scone from uh, Panera Bread. Ooh. Oh, Panera Bread is worse. Yeah, I've seen scones. The cinnamon scone. I've gotten one I was like, before. I've seen scone before. Okay, so I've never had Panera Bread It's scones. the triangle-shaped thing. I know, I yeah, know, yeah, I know. Yeah, that's a scone. I think, does Starbucks have them? Starbucks has scones, yes. I've never had a scone. The cinnamon crunch scone at Starbucks, fire too. All right, here you go, guys. New beginning solar eclipse. I'm about to have my first scone. All right, let's do it. That's a new. Oh, is it? It's hard. It's a little bit harder than the other ones. Their yeah. textures are kind of weird. I, yeah, I, I know. I know what the textures are, but okay. They, oh, it, oh that's the only bad thing about the cutter. Yeah, guys, every single. The, oh man. The so me and Sean were debating this. How do you? Is there any proposal you have an invention to clean this before after every cookie? Because like after you cut every cookie, oh, you literally yeah. put lemon into the chocolate yeah, chip. Yeah, that's then, why the lemon first maybe wasn't the best bet. But someone oh, said uh, have water on you. But what, what would you? I feel like a little, like a little bowl. You put it in there, it cleans it, and you take it out. Yeah, but having that in the car is like impossible. 
like yeah, smart, if we're doing like a if water we're, system. I mean, if we're doing it at the house, then yeah, then yeah, we should. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. All right, oh. let's do it. Here, I got. I can hold this. If we're gonna get a big. What is this? It's cinnamon? uh, it's a cinnamon butter. Cinnamon uh dollop. I think they call it dollop. Oh, dollop. Okay. Usually, uh, butter dollops is what starts, uh, yeah. crumbles known for. I'm about to eat this whole. How thing. are you gonna do it? I'm about to. I'm. I'm just. I'm gonna eat this quarter. It's happening. It's, it's I, ha good. I have a feeling this is gonna be fire. So right, let's do it. I'm about to go two let's halves. Eat, we're gonna eat the quarter. All right, let's do the quarter. All right, we're doing the one quarter. bite. Yeah, one bite. Let's do it. Mhm. 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 Crumble, y'all did it. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. New beginnings. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Mm. I love cinnamon flavored anything. The after taste. Mm -hmm. I do need a glass of milk bad. Same, I need it bad. But, or crumble water. <laughs> okay, no, <laughs> no. Sean, I don't, you, I don't know if you, you probably didn't see last week's video. Mm -mm. Sean absolutely destroyed crumble water. Why? He said it tastes like tap water. Does it really? It's really bad, he said. He said that, but it's from the Appalachian Mountains, I think. Oh, shit. Wait, well, what mountains are in the Utah? Th those mountains. Utah doesn't have the Appalachian Mountains. What does Utah have? <laughs> Wait, what mountain was it? See, I totally forgot. What mountain is there? Was it Utah the Rocky Mountain? I don't want to say it like might an be idiot rocky. now. See, exactly. It's well, rocky. It might be rocky. I don't know. I don't all, right, know. all right, let's do the review on this. Wait, TV. Appalachian might not be there. It's not Appalachian. Wait, no. I'm, I'm, I'll look it up later. Oh, my God. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Three, see. two, one. 9.2. Oh, dang. 8.9. Wait, no, hold on. No, I don't even want to explain. You got to explain why didn't that get a 9. Why? <laughs> you gave chocolate cupcake a 9, but not that. I love the chocolate cupcake one so much. I really like that cookie a lot. Okay, so for this one, for me, I maybe it's because I ate that entire chunk of, like, uh, cinnamon we butter. We should have done that. Yeah. We should have done that. That, like, over, that, that was a little bit much for me. I love cinnamon. I love cinnamon flavor. I thought the cookie was nice and soft, but it had some crunch to it, which is nice because scones have a little bit of crunch to it. I would have liked the cookie to be baked a little bit more mm. to give it like a more of a little scone crunch. But otherwise, that yeah. cookie really hits the spot. Like, it's like a flaky that. crunch, right? Mm -hmm. For me, 9.2, I think it's it easily clears all the, the cookies this cookie. week. It's the best cookie of the week. You have to. So for me, like before we even start the one cookie, if you're if, like, we have a boy that gets a cookie every week, go get the cinnamon scone no matter what. We're probably not going to see scone again for a while, right? Probably not. I haven't seen that. I don't think we're so, going to get it. I don't think yeah. we're going to get it this year again. Probably um, not. I will say one thing. You know, the, it had the little dollop in the middle, like a little scoop. Yeah, I think it should be spread out. Spread it out. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Before it was too you, overpowering. Yeah. Yes. Before you eat the cookie, just yeah. spread that all over. If it'll, we just eat one bite, we would have just gotten butter. Yeah, I, got I like a, it spread I out. Got a ton of butter. But hey, we did the quarter. We had to do the quarter. But no, it's amazing. The te the, the the texture, everything mm -hmm. about it is amazing. Mm -hmm. I've never had a scone. If that's what a scone is, hey, I'm a scone fan. So I will get a scone this week for sure. <laughs> maybe we maybe maybe we make a video this week, guys. Okay, um, scone. If if this if this video gets 400 likes, that's a lot. 400 likes, we'll do a uh, Panera Bread scone versus Crumble scone. I mean, so it's not gonna happen. So I mean, it is what it is. Nah, make it happen. Make I it happen, do guys. It. Run it up. Run it up. <laughs> run it up. Send this to everyone you know. Run it up. But with that honest honest review of Crumble, what's your cookie of the week? If you can only get one. You know my cookie of the week. Chocolate cupcake? Chocolate cupcake. So you're gonna, if, if someone called you right now and said, what cookie should I get? You're gonna tell them chocolate cupcake. I'm gonna tell them chocolate cupcake. Wow. <laughs> I'm telling them it's going no matter what. Yeah. So what's your one through, what's your one through five? So chocolate cupcake is first for me, then it goes cinnamon scone. Um, my last one is obviously lemon bar. Okay. Um, third is gonna be, what was the other one? It was one? a cookie dough and the M&M. &M. Cookie dough is my third one. And, and then M&M &M. &M is four. So I, I'm, I basically, I'm about the same boat as you. I say number one scone, number two chocolate. Three cookie dough, M and uh, M and M and M and what's it called? Lemon, Lemon bar. bar. I feel like it's personal it's like interchangeable. Yeah. So, do you think people should go out of their way and get a four box this week, or just get a one cookie? Oh man, uh, I would just get two cookies. <laughs> two? <laughs> yeah, get the scone and get the chocolate cupcake. That's fair. So, it's but a, four box isn't a bad idea this week. Why not just get a four box? I, yeah, because I like the cookie dough as well. The I'm cookie gonna, dough hits. I'm gonna say get a four box with the cookie dough. Yeah. And I'm gonna say get the lemon bar. Ooh. I'm gonna say lemon bar and okay. try it out if you yeah. like Starburst. But if you absolutely love M and M cookies, then get M and M. Yeah. But the M and M cookie, we get it so often. We, we've got some it. variation of the M and M. I feel like yeah, we, got, we, we get it every two yeah. months. So I feel like if you guys want to get or or get two scones and get two chocolate chip cupcakes, you know, it's you, not a bad you want your heart, you know, and you and your uh, significant other guys, if you get it for your significant other, you know, maybe just get whatever whatever they like, right? So you gotta yeah. just be appreciative yeah. of them. 
So, I mean, it's a new beginning, new solar. <laughs> it's that part of the video where I don't know what I'm saying. Usually, Sean is here to say something and close it out, but uh, we're just jibber jabbing right now. But it's All right, guys, that was fun. Sean will be back next week. If you guys enjoyed my brother, just comment below, you know. If you want to join us next week, we'll bring you. Just let us know, guys, yeah. if you enjoyed him. Uh, he's a chill vibe. He loves crumble. So, just let us know. And with that, you're going to do the honors today. Give us some life advice. All right. Um, so, with all this solar eclipse, everything going on, um, I think the biggest thing I can tell everybody is uh, don't worry too much about the future. Don't worry too much about the past. Live in the moment. Be present in the moment every single day. Enjoy what you do and put your all into what you do, you know? Just be in the moment and enjoy what you do and everything good will come towards your way. You know, it's crazy because Sean was here last week. Said, he said that word for word. I'll show you the video. Wait, what? He said that, yes. Uh, oh, and, and, shoot. And he, so he, I have not watched the video. He didn't I see last week's video and Sean said word for word. I don't want to think about what the future is. I'm just enjoying my days as, they, as the present. I'm just living the present. Yeah. So that, that's, that's been my that's been my motto this year, especially. But that's just something like, a know? lot of people struggle with because a lot of people are like in in high school or college and they're thinking about where, where they're gonna be when they're forty. Yeah. But they it's hard to focus on the present because the present's so hard sometimes because you yeah. have exams and stuff. It is. So how do you focus on the present when in those situations? Well, you know, you have to f you have to try to find the little joys and things like that. You know, I know a test isn't fun, obviously, but in ten years you're gonna look back on that test and you're gonna be like. Oh shoot, I wish I was an undergrad still. Oh, I wish I was doing that still. Because you have to look at the things that come with it, right? It's not only that test, it's the people around you when you're taking that test, right? You have your friend group then. You're not gonna maybe have that same friend group in 10 years. So you have to make sure you live in the moment and take appreciate everything. What you have. Yeah, just appreciate every little thing. Like there's a struggle to get where you want, and you just have to grind and get through that struggle. All right, guys, but uh hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode with my brother. Sean was not here. Um, once again, if you liked him, well, we'll bring him back. Just comment below. And before we end this video, you know, you know what we do. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, comment below. We will have another giveaway next week. We're giving away two hoodies, but we do have two winners today that he picked. So who's our first winner? All right. Um, so by the way, the hoodies are amazing. I, I've worn the hoodie for like a month or a, a month or two months now. Yeah. I love that hoodie. It's it's really people nice, are saying so. the, the quality is really good. The very so, good quality. The fit is really yeah. nice too. We yeah. spent a lot of time on these guys. So, and if if you didn't win the win away giveaway, we actually have them on sale right now for twenty nine dollars. If you want to buy one, go to the comment below. They ship out in about three to five days, and just get one. You know, it's I highly recommend yeah. it. It's a very nice hoodie. All right, so the first winner today is Sag Singh 4906. Sag Singh 4906, okay. So shout out Sag Singh 4906. Congratulations. You got yourself a hoodie. And who's our next one? All right, our second winner. All right, so this is the one I picked because they commented on Evian water, which is my favorite water, so. It was Evian, is that the, is that the one with it's the, the pink? Yeah, the French the one that, uh, Yeah, they do it uh, Djokovic, Wimbledon. Djokovic, yeah. Djokovic, yeah, Djokovic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this one is Ace of Spades, triple six, seven. You wanna show them uh, Ace of Spades? Yeah, so this one. Ace, Ace of Spades. Spade. Okay, 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 we got it. So Ace of Spades and sad sad, sad thing, thing 4906 whatever I'm gonna it need was. Some proof. so uh just uh reach out to me on instagram it's at beanie sports no cat no space beanie sports uh message me dm me and uh we'll get the hoodie sent out to you guys congratulations once again um i will reply pretty quick because the dms are pretty dry over here but just uh <laughs> let me know and come through and with that we will see you guys next week uh anything Everybody else take care all love anything else no Everyone right. take care.